Trading Corporation says tension in the Middle East is likely to pr drive prices higher. He's on the phone live from Phoenix. Nice to see you both and talk to you both. Fidel, I will begin with you. That's a very narrow range you're pointing at here. Five dollars either way from here. What's behind your outlook and your ideas? Basically, we don't see uh, major changes in supply, in demand. Uh, only if there is a very compelling reason for prices to go up and down either uh, events in the Middle East or, on the other hand, uh, if demand collapses as slow economic growth, that could take oil prices well below 50. But if we have more or less the current economic outlook, I think oil prices will probably gravitate between 50 on the low side and 60 on the high side. Okay, 50 and 60. Craig, where do you see oil equilibrium for the moment? Well, I think it's probably around $45 a barrel, Liz, but I, I think that Fidel's a little bit optimistic here. I mean, he talks about supply and demand, and there are factors right now that could dis disrupt demand overnight. I mean, the MEND movement, the militants in Nigeria and the Niger Delta that are that are killing people and trying to take out over the oil assets, Iran possibly threatening the Straits of Hormuz, Venezuela socializing their entire country now. I think we shouldn't be this optimistic about oil oil prices staying within a $5 range given everything that's going on geopolitically in the world. Fidel, what about those issues? And we just heard from Sharon Epperson and ideas such as the weather not being where it usually is at this time of year, but you start racking up all of these issues, including Nigeria and including Iran, and right now, wouldn't that somehow force oil a bit higher? Well, basically, the market has already factored in Nigeria, Venezuela, uh, Iran, Iraq, all of the above. Again, if you recall, four months ago, oil prices hit an all-time high of $78. There was no significant change of, uh, of supply and demand. It's the perception, it's the speculation. The market is very hyped by speculation. I don't believe that oil prices should be a dollar more than $50. Mm. It could be even $45. If OPEC does not cut production, I think oil prices will go lower. Craig, what do well, you think? Go ahead. Uh, again, I, uh, I I appreciate what Fidel is saying. However, he's saying the, the market is factored in Iran, Iraq, Nigeria, Venezuela, Russia. But what if Iran stops producing oil? They haven't stopped producing oil. Well, what Craig, if I, Craig, I would can't. think that would move prices higher. I think it will move prices dramatically higher. We saw this going into Hurricane Katrina. What, what happened? We had threats of our supply and disruptions of production, and next thing you know, prices were going through the roof. I, look, I'm not suggesting we're going to see $78 a barrel oil tomorrow, but I wouldn't get too overly optimistic until we see some of these very, very critical issues that could affect supply go, get past us. Until that happens, I think we should have a little bit of, of, of guarded optimism here. Fidel, last word quickly. Well, the last word is that it is always the analyst is much more r realistic in their expectation, while the traders are more optimistic, <laughs> and, and, and this is usually the case. True. All right, Fidel K. Gate, uh, Craig Smith, both of you, we thank you for your opinions on this. We'll have much more coming up. Stocks to watch. Stay tuned. Don't go away.